If you think that going on a cruise means you were stuck on a ship, think again. I've just had coconut shrimp and a rum punch and now I'm walking down this beautiful beach. I mean, come on, how much better can it get? This proud African man carries a globe on his shoulder, like the small yet mighty island of St. Martin. Effortlessly, it cares for the people of this island and for those that visit. St. Martin's divided into two sides, the Dutch side and the French side. This is the Dutch side. It's really easy to find your way around and this is where you get the water taxis. Although if you want to stretch your legs, you don't need to take a taxi. The walk from the harbour to the beach is 10 to 15 minutes. The Dutch side is very clean and well organised. Everything's clearly signposted. All the restrooms even, it's very easy to find your way around. If you like adventure, you can see the French side and the Dutch side easily, all in one day. You don't have to go very far to find a beach. This one is a stone's throw away from the cruise ship, although I'm sure there are lots of beaches on the island. Although this is the Dutch side, there's also a strong Creole feel and that relaxed Caribbean flavour. There's loads of theme bars along the front, Cuban, Brazilian, lots of fun to be had here. If you love your shopping, St Martin is famous for its duty-free electronic goods. This street is full of duty-free shops. Behind me is the courthouse. There is definitely a Dutch, sort of American vibe to this place. You know how I like to find you alternative ways of travelling around? Well, here's one of them. You can rent one of these babies. Don't forget your driving licence. We saw these first in Budapest, they're beer bikes and stag parties and hen parties love these. They're very popular. We decided against the Segway because it was $30 for 30 minutes just up and down the boardwalk. This is interesting, a French restaurant, Lescargo, in the Dutch Quarter. It's so different, the feel from the French Quarter. I actually, I can't choose between them. This part is so structured and clean. The French part is rambling and like going to the Riviera. What a great holiday, you can have both of them and so close together. And just a short bus ride, $2. If you want to stay in St. Martin, and I can't think of a reason why not, there are apartments to rent right here on the beach. This is the entrance to those apartments. I want to come here, stay for a couple of weeks. It's time to head back. Tomorrow, another island and another adventure. Come with me on Doris Visits.